We're going to go over how to replace your valve using a Hulky Roberts valve wrench. You'll need a valve wrench and a replacement valve. Prior to removing the current valve, be sure your board is fully deflated and the center pin is down in the open position. Now we'll go over how to remove and replace your inflatable valve. Before we start, please note that in the bottom section of the valve inside the board is not attached to anything and it can become easily lost within the board. You'll want to hold on to the bottom of the valve by placing your hand under the board before starting to remove the valve. Insert the valve wrench into the valve. Turn counterclockwise until your valve is completely detached. Remove completely and inspect the rubber ring around the valve to be sure it's debris free. Check to make sure the spring hinge is functioning correctly and that there are no cracks along the edges. Next, you'll want to look into the board to ensure the strings from the drop stitching material are not interfering with the valve threading. Now we'll reattach the new valve. Line the threading of the new valve with the bottom section. You will need to hold the bottom section in place beneath the board. Hand tighten the valve. Now it's time to make sure your valve is airtight. Insert the valve wrench and twist clockwise until you no longer are able to tighten. Now it's time to test. Inflate your board to 10 PSI and check if there is any air leaking. If you're unsure if there is air releasing from the valve, mix a mild dish soap with water, pour onto the valve and see if any bubbles form. If no bubbles form, your valve is airtight. You now have successfully replaced your inflatable board valve.